What is the difference between MP3 files and WAV files? MP3 and WAV files are commonly associated with audio formats. In other words, they are files that you play in order to hear the audio of a song or a podcast discussion. MP3 and WAV files are the most popular formats, but they are quite different, and the difference is related to how the files are compressed. To help you with this video, I have Mr. McCoy with me. He is an accomplished musician, a music teacher with experience in music technology and integrating classical sounds into the digital realm. He is also one of my past IT pupils, so he understands programming and he actually inspired and developed the intro sound that you hear at the start of the computer term videos on YouTube. So, welcome Mr. McCoy. Thanks, thanks for having me. So, what is the difference between an MP3 and a WAV audio format? Okay, well, let's start with WAV. So, WAV files are a way of digitally encoding audio or sound, like you've said already. So, that allows us to store and manipulate audio. WAV files are what make digital audio recording and playback possible. But the WAV encoding is uncompressed. It's just a stream of numbers that represent the sound, and the files can get quite large. On the other hand, MP3 files are also a way of encoding audio, but they are compressed with a few strategies to make them smaller to store or to transfer. This compression is called lossy compression because the original WAV file can't be recreated exactly from the MP3 file. It can get very close, but never exactly. One of the techniques the algorithm uses is to calculate what sound is present that we won't be able to hear because of the way our ears work, and then they remove that sound. Another one is similar to what a zip file does by looking at rows of similar numbers and then grouping them together into a set to save space. When is it best to use MP3 and when is it best to use a WAV audio format? Okay, so because MP3 is compressed, it's good for storing large volumes of audio or streaming over the internet or just playing back the MP3s. Most MP3s, and it depends on the settings, are about a tenth of the size of a WAV file, so it really makes a big difference in streaming audio quickly. WAV is used when editing audio, because MP3s can't be directly edited, they have to be converted to WAV first. And also when you're recording audio, WAVs are better. This is because it takes computer resources to decode an MP3 file to play back. So if you're just playing a song on your phone, that's easy. But now imagine a recording studio where you have more than 50 tracks of audio recording or playing back, and that would slow down the process way too much to keep decoding the MP3 files. What can I do to make an MP3 into a WAV file or vice versa? Yeah, there are plenty of free audio converters available online, and some of them even process the file online. But you can download apps that do this too, such as Handbrake or Format Factory, those are two popular ones. And audio editing software like Audacity also has this kind of functionality built in. I hear terms like bitrate, encoding, and sample frequency when dealing with audio files. What are all these terms about? So encoding just means the way that a computer stores numbers to keep them together and be able to use them again. Bitrate refers to how many bits of information an MP3 file stores per second of audio. The higher the bitrate, the better the sound quality, and the less likely you are to notice the difference between an MP3 and a wave. 128 kilobits per second is the standard for MP3, and below that you might start noticing a decrease in the sound quality, especially if you're listening on good headphones. I always prefer to use 192 kilobits per second just to make sure my MP3s always sound good. Sampling frequency is how often the computer stores a number for the audio, and it can also affect quality, though it has more to do with the different forms of audio. When digital audio was first being developed, CDs were popular, and they created the standard of 44.1 kHz, or 44,100 numbers per second. When digital video came along, they wanted to use more mathematically simple numbers, and so they chose 48 kHz as the standard. So most music still uses 44.1 kHz, and most video still uses 48 kHz, but you can find super high quality files up to 96 kilohertz or even 192 kilohertz. So, in summary, an MP3 file is an audio file that makes use of lossy compression. The file size tends to be smaller, but some quality of the audio has been sacrificed. And this is ideal when distributing audio files or making them available for downloading or streaming online. Where a WAV file is an audio file that falls under the lossless category. The file size is much larger because the sound quality is so much better. It is ideal for your recording or mixing tracks before you create a final product for publishing online. We will make another video in the future about the difference between lossy and lossless compression. Thank you to Mr. McCoy for answering our questions. You can learn all about audio software like MuseScore at Mr. McCoy's YouTube channel at McCoy D. Trom. The link will be in the description.
So go to subscribe to his channel for all things related to music editing. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. McCoy and Mr. Long way. If you don't want to miss a video that is released every Thursday, make sure that you click on that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, let us know what video you want us to do next. And follow us on TikTok so that you can find all our fun and games and other useful stuff there as well.